Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, we're going to answer a standardized math test question about triangle properties. Here's our question. Which of the following is always true about an isosceles triangle? Go ahead and pause and solve and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So here we're being asked about an isosceles triangle. And an isosceles triangle is a triangle with two congruent sides and two congruent angles. Reminding you that congruent means equal, the same size. So we have an isosceles triangle here. These little tick marks mean that they're congruent or equal side lengths. And these arcs mean that these two angles are the same measure. So they are congruent, equal to each other. Opposite sides are the angles. So here we go, angle, angle, side, side. So we have a three-sided figure, making it a triangle. Two sides are congruent, two angles are congruent. It's an isosceles triangle. Now we are asked to find out which one of these is always true. So that's implying that these, some of these are sometimes true. So let's go through and look at each one to ensure we pick the right one. Choice A, the sum of its angles is 100 degrees. Well, we know that that is not true about a triangle. The three interior angles of a triangle have a sum of 180 degrees. If you'd like a fun activity to do, I would go ahead right up here and click on this link and it'll walk you through step by step how to prove that this works. So we're gonna rule out choice A. Choice B, it cannot contain a right angle. Well, we have a special kind of right isosceles triangle where these two are congruent angles and these are two congruent sides and it has one 90 degree angle making it a right isosceles. So this isn't always true because this does not have a right angle, but it can. So it is sometimes can has a right angle. And this is not true because it says cannot. So we're gonna rule this out because it can have a right angle, so that's not the correct choice. Choice C, two of its sides must be congruent. Well, it looks like that is true, right? Because we have this in our definition, a triangle with two congruent sides. So I'm gonna check this and keep it as what I think the answer is, but I'm gonna check D to be sure. D states that all three of its angles must be congruent. Well, when all three sides of a triangle are congruent, it's an equilateral triangle. And so this is also an isosceles because two congruent sides and two congruent angles. However, more specifically, it's an equilateral triangle. And better yet, it says must be. So we only need two sides and two angles to be congruent. So although this is still by definition an isosceles triangle, it's not a must be. So it doesn't have to be. So we're gonna rule that out. So our correct answer is choice C, two of its sides must be congruent. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back tomorrow and have a great day.